Why not just have Mel take out an ad in the banner? Miss Dorian Lord Hayes is available for arrest at the rectory. Between I the am hours not of... leaving town without seeing Cassie and that son. Will you talk some sense to your wife? Look, look, Monk claimed that he sold the murder weapon to you. And Monk is dead. So if we get caught, we go down. Monk was lying. You've been set up. And Sykes was involved too, I'm sure of it. Now, why exactly do you say that? I don't know yet. But I do know that our beloved congressman, Graham, is in it up to his eyeball. Ah, and like a good lap dog, Sykes is doing Graham's dirty work. Yeah, it sure looks like it. You don't trust me, do you? No, not with my freedom. And I trust her even less. Well, then get out. I don't want any dead wood. I don't want any crybabies here. Oh, well, now you're a tough guy. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to get you both out of town. Get him out of town. I am not leaving until I've seen Kathy. How am I going to get you into a hospital that's crawling with cops? Leave that to me. I've got a plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I sure hope that this isn't anything serious, David. We'll just get a doctor out here to look at you as soon as we possibly can. Dave, oh, Dave, please, help us, get us a doctor, please, now, hurry, please. Because I'm happy to see you, and I've been worried about you, you know? What are you doing here? <laughs> I couldn't very well go on the lamb until I'd said goodbye to you. <sighs> and until I had sworn to you on everything that I hold sacred, that I did not hire R.J. Gannon to kill Kevin. Or Drew, so help me God. So go tell the police. Won't do any good. Why? I don't understand. I don't yet either. But I do know that Sykes and Graham are in an awful hurry to solve this crime, so they don't care who they arrest. What is the truth? Sweetheart, you know that I have my uh, faults, my excesses. But I... My only intention is always to protect you. I'm listening. And... I did hire R.J. Gannon. But only to follow Kevin, because I wanted to make sure that he didn't cheat on you again. Not there. Only to follow him, Cassie. I swear to you. I couldn't possibly come here. To... Well, you're confined to a hospital room and, and say these things to you if they weren't true. Please tell me that you believe me, please. Yes, of course I believe you. I do. Oh, oh I love you so much. Oh, you must have... You must have sneak in here. So how did you get in here? There were there police swarming all over the place. Yeah. Breaking and entering. And petty theft. Mm. Oh. And uh, your father helped? And Andrew helped, huh? And Mel. Oh, great. So now it's a <clears throat> conspiracy. So how are you going to get out of here? Well, I don't know. We'll just make a house call. I don't care. They can throw me in the slammer and throw away the key. I wasn't going to leave until I'd seen you. <laughs> I'm very touched. Now go, go, go on. Get out of here. You have to leave so that Mel can uh, clear your name. <laughs> yeah, I meant to that as soon as I can get her and RJ out of town, and then I can start figuring out why Sykes and Graham are so intent on finding scapegoats. Oh, it's election year chicanery, and worse, who knows, but I am not afraid of them. And if you need me, sweetheart, I won't go, okay? So tell me, what does your doctor say? Sure, you were all right. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just very scared for you. So you have to go now. Well, let me help you into no, bed. You're not hiding. No, I'm not hiding me. anything. Okay, now please, just go, Mel. Are you sure that they haven't told you something about your condition I'm that fine. you're hiding from me? Come on, come on, now or never. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Go, go, Mel. Come on. Tell me she's all right. We've got to move. Right, go. Go, go. It won't please, be long. Go, go. I'm glad everything was okay, Mr. Rinaldi. 
Come on, David. Time to go. You're on your own, Dave. 